I'm Jonathan Blake, uh, Associate Director of ADAS. Um, here today just to talk to you about Folpet and some work we did with this last year. One of the key questions that often comes up when we discuss Folpet is whether we would be better off just increasing the rate of the STHI ASOL um, that we're planning to use, uh, or whether we should be including multi-site such as Folpet. Um, and it's exactly that question that we sought to ask last year in Herefordshire um, through trials. Uh, we had one particular trial on Kerin in South Herefordshire last year, looking at that exact question. How we looked at that was by taking an SDHI ASL, ASCAR in this case, applying it at T1 and T2 at four different rates of application. We then added Arizona at all of those rates of application to see what it was going to bring and uh, how it much it added at each of those dose rates. What did we find? Well, when we looked at the disease data from that, we noticed there was quite a clear, this is the chart on the left-hand side, there was quite a clear response to both Ascara and Ascara plus Arizona. The Ascara line, the blue dotted one here, quite clearly shows a decline in the level of disease uh, on leaf one, leaf two and leaf three, uh, due to its application, but notably the green line is below that and uh, showing a better level of control. And interestingly, it didn't really matter what level of uh, Ascara we applied, we didn't reach the same level of control that we were getting where we'd got Ascara with the Arizona. If we look at the right hand side, this is sort of an inverse of that. This is looking at um, control per unit cost or punch per pound spent, you could say. Um, and when you take account of cost of treatment in this way, uh, effectively, we're just changing the uh, x-axis along the bottom here. Uh, you can see, um, again, getting a higher level of con control. We were getting a higher level of control in this trial where we'd added Arizona compared to where we'd use Ascara alone. And, and equally, you, there was no point at which we could get the same level of control by just using Ascara. And I've just drawn a line up here at the 40 pounds per hectare mark. And you can see at that point, um, it's just a point of comparison. Here, uh, 1.2 litres of Ascara, the blue line where it crosses the red, costing around 40, giving us about 40% control. But we were getting closer to 50% control where we used the same cost, but 0.8 of Ascara with 1.5 of Arizona. We took this right through to yield, and when we looked at yield uh, with and without Arizona, again, we, we saw a, a reasonable curve fit. There's some noise in the data, so it wasn't a perfect um, yield fit there. But you can quite clearly see a separation between the dotted blue line and the green line, uh, showing that we were achieving a high yield where we'd added Arizona to ASCO. And when we take account of the cost of the chemical, uh, and the value of the crop, we used a wheat price of 165 uh, and standard figures for Arizona and Ascara. Again, the highest margin over fungicide cost was achieved in this trial where we had the Arizona included. We looked at exactly the same with Revistar as well. Uh, and you can see here the dotted red line is the response to Revistar alone, uh, quite a clear uh, and good fit there uh, with that treatment. And where we'd added Arizona as well, there was a clear benefit from its inclusion uh, and a high level of control achieved. When we look at the percent control chart on the right-hand side, uh, exactly the same sort of a pattern. Uh, the addition of the Arizona was providing quite considerable benefit in terms of uh, control. Uh, and that was coming in effectively at a lower cost Per, the activity per unit cost was, was better where we've got Revistar with Arizona. Um, so yeah, quite a clear benefit in terms of using Arizona with both Ascara and Revistar in this, in this case. So this trial last year quite clearly showed a benefit in terms of efficacy and margin of fungicide costs. Um, that's one aspect of why we would look to include Folpet. There is also uh, a risk management element uh, whereby 
the use of a multi-site guards against any further change in uh, SDHI azole activity that might occur. Uh, and that's a second reason why we should be considering using Folpet in programs. Thank you.